what up everybody so I just finished watching Valerian um, and that film was a big big mess I mean like kind of like I read about it and like I, I knew the reviews weren't really kind to it but I thought look I'm a really big fan of Luc Besson I think he does great films and um, he isn't one that does really cliche things or I guess like really basic mistakes is not known for that so I thought like maybe like okay he tried to jam too much in because obviously he it's a very close project for him um he's read all the comics and so i thought maybe like in the two hours he tried to do what obviously jupiter ascending tried to do or what um cloud atlas or like kind of like the wachowski brothers films where they just jam so much down your throat that it just turns out to be a bad film but i was wrong this is actually a pretty disappointing film like um anybody who writes films or does any kind of like anything to do with films whether you be an actor um an editor sound recorders if you have the basic understanding of what, how films work, you can clearly see the very the very simple mistakes that were made in this film that just made it so terrible. And I guess to, it wasn't, I can't say it was unwatchable, but it took away the entertaining, entertainment. Um, so the biggest mistakes that he did that I like obviously is exposition. So if I keep on changing hands. Um, so with the exposition, he literally like, instead of showing it to us without being a very simplistic way of just like saying, okay, it's like he didn't use the narration, but might as well. It's just kind of like the movie starts, and let's say I'm playing Valerian. It's like, oh, hello, how are you guys? Just so you know, I'm Major Valerian. I've been nine years at this, whatever the thing is called, Alpha Army dude. I have seven medals of honor. I am the top agent, and I've slept with so many girls, but I love you. Why, you ask? Well, you're not going to know, but I love you. Yeah, oh, and by the way, I am stupid. Obviously, he didn't say that, but, like, that's literally what Valer what uh, Major Valerian says. And that was, like, that was, like, one terrible, like, really, really terrible. Um, and we're thinking, like, mm, that's just one example. No. Um, they return to the Alpha side, so the city of, the, the city of a thousand planets, or whatever it's called. And um, the computer tells them, since you've been gone, there's been an increase of 7% of population. Okay, that's cool. That's information, that's a backstory, so obviously we know that the city is growing more and more, and obviously there's more and more creatures. But then, all of a sudden, for no reason, the city is like, okay, well, down below you have the water people, up above you have the cloud people, to the right you have the robots, to the left you have like these other aliens that are they are almost like mind readers or something to do. And you're like, why are you telling him? Like, this is none of this is useful information to Major Valerian, because he should know it. So it's literally exposition just to the audience, but it is done really, really simple way with no, with no addition to the story. Like it had no value or no in integral part actually changed. If you took it out, nothing would change in the story. So uh, that's by saying exposition. So there's a lot of different kind of like things where they say something which doesn't need to be said. Um, and so, you know, going on to the whole fact that, um, the Valerian and like how he loves um, this girl. There is no history, no basis on what the love is on based on. What is it? Is it love at first sight? But we don't get to see them meet. We get we we, we see him kind of like not like pretty much sexually harass her for the in entire film, and then the end she's like I love you too. Um, he's got this playlist. So by the way, spoilers right here. Um, so he's got this. Okay, no spoilers. Whatever. So he tells her he loves her. He does. She doesn't believe him. She says that he's a flamboyant. Um, skirt chaser, which is okay, fair enough. Um, he says, "Look at me, I'm like this dedicated war hero, blah blah blah. I'm a major, etc., etc." Et and um, there is no point. It's like there is, first of all, there is no chemistry between the two actors, and that's terrible because you can clearly see that on potentially. I can't say that they liked each other. Maybe they did like each other. Maybe they're friends, but they haven't got any any chemistry on screen. So it just looks like two people talking to each other, more or less. Um, so they didn't they didn't do, do a very good job, which is another reason why this movie movie flopped and obviously critics are hating it. Clive Owen kinda looked like he's in it. He looked like he's just written off the script, no emotion whatsoever. Um he's he's even like his how do I say it? His um his character is even more retarded, if anything. Um so yeah, so there's like a lot of I guess issues that are extremely simple and you would think that anybody who's making a movie who isn't a novice? Who this like if this was his first film? This is if this was Luc Besson's um, first Hollywood blockbuster. If he did like a bunch of indie movies, you can potentially see it. 
Um, and obviously be like, why did this, why didn't the studio see this? The studio would reshoot it. But he, this isn't like he's apparently he's filmed this two years ago. See, he had he's been editing this movie since 2015, and it turned out like this, which is terrible, terrible, terrible. I mean, on the upside, the only thing that I, I really want to say is that um, he creates a beautiful world. Obviously, this it's based on um, French manga or French comics, and um, he he does amazing work on the CGI. And there are some bits in it which you find funny. And uh, entertaining, like some little clips, but as an overall as an overall film, <clears throat> it is actually extremely boring. Um, you sit in there, and like literally, like I went there with my mates, and like well, and the couple, and, like our girlfriends, and when they were starting the uh, all of the exposition, we were laughing our heads off. We were laughing our heads off because it was so hilariously stupid. I mean, yeah, it had some funny moments in it, but very very little, and it it. The other thing is um, Valerian's character, so Major Valerian, he is, uh, I, already, I already reviewed him, I put on IMDb, I put on Rotten Tomatoes so that people can see it, but um, so my review pretty much just says that, um, so Valerian, I haven't read the comics, so I might be completely wrong, but obviously from what I gather, what he's, Valerian is supposed to be kind of like Hal Jordan from Green Lantern, so like this really over the, like this really over the top cocky guy who's really confident in himself, who he thinks he's, the, he's like the god to the ladies. Um, but obviously he's still very, uh, he has integrity for what he does and he lost his job and he has passion for it, et cetera, et cetera. Or like, or even like, um, Will Smith from either Men in Black, uh, Bad Boys or even Independence Day. So just to obviously put through the picture, uh, what kind of, but Valerian, he comes off as this, as a kid who, okay, he's, he has like nine years and seven years of, exp nine years of experience and seven like medals, but he, some of the things he says and some of the things he does is so stupid, you would think that he's actually a beginner. And same goes for his sergeant, his love interest. Um, they, they get lost. They have they ask these really simple questions where you'd be like, were you guys in the military? Like, you're not recruits. You're not new recruits that you should be asking these questions in the first place. And, and, and so there's a lot of these things which kind of like made this film extremely disappointing. I think like it could have used a different, like a different scriptwriter. Or more or less, if Luc Besson gave the script to someone else and just be like, "Look, I want you to look over it. For me, this is like my baby, my child. Um, I might be too close to it. Obviously, I want to make the best movie. I want to make the best. I want. I want to bring this world to everybody. But I need you to look over it. And if I think if someone did it, then they'd be like, "Well, Luc, why? Why does he act this one here, but then acts another way in the other scene? And like, mm, makes sense. Yeah, okay, I'll change it. Or like, why does he say this? Like, to what point? Like." wouldn't he know this information already because he's been here before oh yeah it makes sense let me rewrite that for instance like if if love interest was a new recruit and potentially she could be they might they could have done like one or two cases together but we don't know that and this is her first time on alpha side then it would make sense if you were to explain to her i mean it's very simple but it makes sense i mean it, or it could have been like they go through the dist different districts for whatever reason could be like like almost like um what, what is it no, not Blade Runner, but I'm, just, I'm trying to think of a movie where they go through all these different, um, obviously, districts and find out about each district and about each race's history and stuff. That could have the way, that could have been a much better way. And you didn't need to explain it, you could have just done it through visuals. But she apparently knows everything, he knows about everything, they've been there, so there was no point in any of this. Um, there's a lot of scenes like that. I mean, like, when you come out and you want to criticize a movie, but you, but you don't remember what you want to criticize about because... It wasn't memorable enough to be criticized. Then you know that this was a disappointing film. Like I'm trying to think of the movie. What like I watched it. Uh, what is it? I watched it less than an hour ago. Like literally less than an hour ago. And when we left the cinema, we were talking about it. But even when we're talking about it, the only I only remember like three scenes out of the whole film. I remember seeing, which was a funny scene where um, he talks to like an alien kid. And I don't want to ruin it for everybody. So that's one scene. When you when you see the film, you know what I'm talking about. And then obviously the the very first scene with the exposition and the exposition of the boat, because those two scenes really pissed me off. Um, and then obviously you have the scenes with the with with the commander that really pissed me off as well. And the other thing is, um, what's it called? They're like <clears throat> he doesn't explain the world. So we we get told that um, it's a, it's a city with thousand planets. And the commander has his own private security and private detail escorting him, but every other alien race doesn't. And the question is, why not? Why doesn't any of the alien races have their own security for detail for the same reason? Then there is a thing where, like, they have like this thing in the city which they couldn't find, and 
and then, and, and then like, oh, actually, you know what? I just remember another scene which didn't make sense. So they found the, they find these other aliens, spoilers, which is not really bad guys, but they're like a side, it's side quest, etc. And apparently no, no humans go in there because they're really dangerous. Yet these guys like managed to kill so many of them and like, why are they so dangerous? And like they're using knives, they're not using guns and the weapon, and the humans have guns. So technically the humans wanted to walk in there, it should be very simple for them just to shoot them. But none of these gets explained, you're thinking like, what the hell? What, what, why, why would you just say, oh no, they must be dead now because like no humans ever gone in there and survives because they're very, very protective of that area. Yet they just kill everybody, and it just gets looked over. So there was a lot of scenes like this. So like scenes where you have, you really have to push and seek and remember backwards just to realize how bad they were or why they didn't make sense in the first place. And um, that that's what makes this disappointing film. Like the fact that you can't remember like a good scene. Like for instance, um, to talk about exposition. So in the morning I watched Creed. I don't know if you guys seen so a Rocky Balboa movie. It was a good movie. And instead of saying like. The movie starts off, if I remember, with Creed um, beating up some kid in a juvie, and that that shows you this kid has always had like a violent temper and like he was always fighting since a very early age. So he progressed into his later life. So we know that he is obviously very dedicated to the fighting style, and he's got like almost like a boxer in him kind of thing, like a fighter, I guess, in him technically, whatever you want to call it. And that and that's and that's exposition. That's to tell you that this kid had a hard upbringing life. He's always had to use his fists, um, and he's always been very physical. He didn't need to be said like, oh, it's like, otherwise the movie could have started off like him and him sitting in a class and being like, I fight every day. I beat opponents twice my size if they call me names. And that's why, like, I am a boxer. And you're like, okay, fine. But wouldn't you, we see it, it's more entertaining for us, and it does the same thing, but it does it in a much smarter way. Or for instance, when, um, what was another, we were talking about how like exposition, the use of it. For instance, in like, Luke Besson is a great exposition. Think about the fifth element, how Bruce Willis' character was trying to quit smoking. And we saw the cigarettes that he was using, he was using this, the future cigarettes where like, it was com more and more converted from nicotine to the, well, to, from the cigarette to the nicotine patches. And therefore, obviously, it's showing you that he's trying to quit smoking. Or for instance, where like, he's seen as this taxi driver loser, but then like, he's got all these, um, medals and these photos of the army and how like the army salutes him so we know there is an army background behind him instead of him just saying like standing in the mirror like oh I can't believe I'm a, I'm a taxi driver but I used to be the commander of the armies you know what I mean like be subtle and the audience will appreciate more especially the review the, the people who review movies will appreciate even more and that will give you better review and more people more likely will go out and want to see the film like i watch a movie like me and my mates when we watch a movie if i like it i go watch a movie with my other mates or i can go and watch a movie with my girlfriend again or by myself if i really like it and want to analyze the movie but this one not really honestly speaking not really there was an interest like I'm, i wouldn't mind watching the trailer for it because obviously i like the little pretty colors but not the film like that's that's the reality it was an entertaining film. Like it, it tried to do what Avatar did, but Avatar did it much better. Like in Avatar, obviously the guy took a lot of effort. He probably rewrote the script like fifty times, but he made sure that the script wasn't boring. He made sure the script was entertaining and everything was done subtle. Or even fine, they could like in in, Ava, in Avatar, they did have a lot of talking, but they did it in a much better way where it wasn't really dumb, dumbfounded for the audience. I guess if that makes sense. Anyway, so that was my review on Valerian and. Um, a city of a thousand planets, or how, whatever the title it is. Um, really disappointing in it, to be honest. And uh, look, I hope you guys, tell me what you thought of it. Hope you guys uh, agree with me. If you don't, obviously put in the comments. And um, I'll guys see you probably next week. Um, I have now three weeks left until I go to the United States of America, which is pretty cool. And I'm also not really on track on me losing weight, which is kind of shame. Um, but yeah, um, but hopefully, Soon you will see some progress with me. Bye, right, guys. See you next time.